Hello again, it's Oscar. In the last episode, we talked about OPC UA. Today, we will focus on another communication protocol called MQTT, which can be perfect match for machines and devices uh, communication, especially in remote locations where the network bandwidth is limited. In opposite to cl classic client-server communication, MQTT is based on the publish and subscribe model. The center of all the communication is broker, which is usually a cloud service, and all the devices are exchanging data through this broker. Communication is based on so-called topics. To make it as simple as possible, we can compare MQTT communication to Twitter for devices. And the topics are like hashtags. So any device that is interested to some topic, just subscribe to it and will receive all the information that other devices will publish within this topic. It's important that in case when new message will appear, the broker sends this message only to devices that subscribe to this particular topic of the message. Today we will start the local MQTT broker on my PC and then prepare the project for FX5 PLC that will connect with this broker, subscribe to some particular topic and also publish data here. We will use FX5 PLC with extension module FX5 init. So let's jump into software. So to use the MQTT communication, of course we need some MQTT broker and I will use the free Mosquito MQTT broker that you can find on mosquito.org. So here in the download section, you can find the right version for your uh, PC. So after the installation, please go to the Mosquito directory and look for the mosquito.conf file. You can open this, for example, with Notepad++. So let's open it and here we have to make the few changes. Actually, we have to add the three lines. The most important here is to set up the right uh, port for our MQTT communication and also allow for the communication from anonymous devices because we are not using the certified communication in this example. So please save this file and close this. And now we have to actually run our MQTT browser. So let's open the Windows services and here look for the Mosquito broker. Click on this and start the service. So right now our broker should be working. So let's try if it's true. So I open the two command prompts that will simulate two devices. The the both devices will open the Mosquito directory and on one of them I will use the Mosquito pub function to publish uh, some information in our topic called test and on the second one I will use the Mosquito sub uh, function to subscribe to our topic called test. So I click to start the subscription and then I publish the information ABC in topic test here. So as you can see, the communication is working correctly, the broker is wor working correctly. So now let's move to GXWorks 3 to also add our PLC to this communication. So let's start with communication uh, with configuration of FX5 init module. So let's open it. And in the basic settings, of course, we have to set up the IP address and uh, then subnet mask and the default gateway and then we will uh, scroll down to find the external device configuration it's here we click on this and here we look for the ethernet device general and mqtt connection module we can add this to our configuration uh, the protocol will be tcp for us the port number we already know, so let's put it here and then close with reflecting the settings. Okay, now move to the application settings and MQTT uh, communication setting. Here we have to specify how we will find our broker. We will use the IP address, 
So let's put IP address of my PC because the broker itself is working on my PC. Uh, we know our server port and the client ID is just the identifier of our PLC in MQTT communication. So it can be any. And here we choose not to verify the certificates because uh, we will be not using certificates in this uh, example. Check, apply and the last setting is, is DNS settings. So here please click use and I will put just the default values from our uh, documentation here. After we put these values here, again we can click check and apply. And now we can move forward into actual creating uh, our program for PLC. So now let's talk about the function blocks that we will be using to communicate with our MQTT broker. And these function blocks you can find here in the module fx, fx5 init, and here we have blocks for our communication. So the first function block will be fx5 init MQTT connect. And this block is used uh, to establish the connection itself. First at the top we have the enable input to activate the function block uh, and then we need to add the structure of our module label uh, that we can find here in the module label fx5 init and here we have our label. Then we need to put the connection number for us it's the first connection and then the timeout and inputs for the connect and disconnect. Then we have a few variables that we don't have to use today, like will message or will uh, retain. But the things that we need to configure are the last three parameters, which are the topic message format. And in our case, we will be using the ASCII code. So we put zero here. For the different codings, uh, you need to use the different number that you can find in the documentation. Uh, then we need also to add the addresses of the wheel topic uh, name and wheel topic message. We are not going to use them today, but it's required to uh, put some registers here uh, for our function block to be working. So I put R0 and R300. The next function block is fx5 init mqtt subscribe. And this one is used, of course, for subscribing to some topic on our broker. Uh, here we also need to use the enable input, uh, the module structure, the connection number, but also we have the inputs to subscribe and unsubscribe uh, the given topic. And then we need to add the subscribe ID and the parameter called quality of service. And this parameter controls the assurance of the message delivery. I'm not gonna go into de details today, but it can be 0, 1 or 2 in MQTT in general, but on FX5 um, compact PLCs we can use only 0 or 1, and I will choose 0 in my case. Then we have the uh, message format. So I choose zero again because we use ASCII codes and then we need to link the register with the name of topic that we want to subscribe to. So I put value 600 here. That means that we will be using the register R600 and above. And here below I have the string move operation uh, to put the topic name to this register. And in my case, the topic name is test. And finally, the function block uh, fx5 init mqtt receive. And this block is used to receive data uh, from the subscribed topics. And here again, we have enable uh, the module structure, the connection number, and the most important two addresses, one for the topic of received message and the other one for the message itself. So now, when we will receive some data, uh, in the register R1100, 
we will have the name of the topic and in the registers R1300 and above, we will receive the message that was published on this topic. And the last function block is fx5 init mqtt publish send. Of course, used to publish some data uh, in MQTT communication. So, as in previous ones, we have enable input, module structure, connection number, and bit to perform uh, the publish publishing of the data, quality of service parameter, so for me, zero again, uh, input to make the message retain, but we also have the message format and the starting register to store the uh, topic name. Uh, in my case, it will be the same topic that we used in the subscribe function block. So I put here the same register R600. Then we have the publish message uh, size. So when we put zero here, uh, the size of message will be automatically calculated, so we don't need to worry about. Uh, and the last one is the starting register with the message to be published. So I choose the register R1000 here. Now it's time to finally test our application. So uh, I open the command prompt that will be simulation of additional device in our MQTT communication. And I have it on the left side and on the right side I have the GXWorks screen. So let's start with our first function block. So put enable here in MQTT connect and use bit connect. After a few seconds, we see the bit connect OK. So the connection is established. So let's move to another block. The other one, the next block is MQTT subscribe. So put enable again here and use the bit subscribe to start the subscription. Then we can uh, put uh, the false here again. So we already are subscribed to the test topic. Now let's receive some data. So first on the second device, I will use the mosquito pub function to publish the data one, two, three, four in the topic test. Then in our fx5 init mqtt receive function block, I put uh, enable to true. And then on the register r1300, I should get this data. And when we open the buffer memory uh, batch monitor, we can see that exactly on our uh, registers we have these values. So. Let's publish another values like ABCD, for example. We cannot see this change immediately, but when we uh, turn off and restart the receive function block, we should see in the memory batch monitor new values. So, okay, receiving the data works correctly. Now let's try the other way around. So in the uh, in our second device that we simulate here, we use the mosquito sub function to start the subscription to the test topic. And now in our function block MQTT publish send, uh, we will put some value into re register R1000, for example, A, and then enable our function block and our use our bit publish. And we immediately see this value in the console. So yeah, let's change this value to B for example, and publish again. And we can also see this data in the second device. So good job, everything works correctly. So we practiced all the necessary functions today, from connection through subscription to publishing data in MQTT communication. I think that configuration of all of these function blocks was quite easy, so maybe it's time to use this communication also in your systems or machines. So think about it and that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye!